Welcome back. In this lesson, we are going to be slicing and dicing. So let's go ahead and do new file general, and let's go ahead and save it. And I'm just going to call mine slicing new because this is an updated version of the slicing technique. I used to teach it a different way, but I want to teach y'all a new and improved way that is going to make your life way, way more easier. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on my shortcuts. Don't worry about that. If you don't have it, you probably won't. Uh, but now you should be able to see what I'm clicking here. And what we're going to do is slice and dice our Suzanne here. Uh, but first things first, uh, this Suzanne uh, is not actually manifold, so we need to make her manifold real quick, just like we did in the very, very first lesson, uh, Beginner 101. So really quickly, um, this could be a good time to pause and see if you remember how to do that. Uh, but if not, or if you need a refresher, then just follow me and I'll call out uh, kind of what I'm doing here. So I'm going to do it really quickly and just take Suzanne into edit mode, click on the eye. Because if you remember, the eyes here are not actually connected to the head here. Like if I hit H to hide them, we've got big holes. So I'm going to hit Alt H to bring those back. And what we're going to do is pop these off with P to separate by selection with the hotkey P. So just separate that selection. Bloop. Now it is a different object here. And we can kind of just hide those. Or we can just call them eyes for now. There we go. So we got our eyes and our Suzanne head. So next thing we want to do, um, notice we are still in edit mode, this little bracket here. So we're in edit mode on Suzanne. And what we want to do is kind of just hide the eyes for now. And let's make these eyes manifold. I'm just going to do it really quickly with the 3D print toolbox. Go to the 3D print toolbox add-on, twiddle down the cleanup and make manifold. And there we go. We've got our monkey manifold. And I already know that there's some uh, some non-flat faces here, these guys right here. So we're just gonna use the cleanup to fix those real quick. So just click distorted. Bloop. And notice it has triangulated all that. And now if we check all, everything is manifold and ready to rock. So we've got that. Now let's turn on our eyes here and go into edit mode. And a cool trick you can do, we could you know, go into object mode, then click on our eyes, and then go back into edit mode. Uh, but what's really cool is if you're still on one object, you can use this little, uh, it's kind of like a cage looking thing, but that's like your edit mode. And you can just click on that with your eyes and notice we've jumped to our eyes layer and we just, you know, inside of edit mode. So if you just want to swap between objects in edit mode, you can do that right there. So nifty little trick for y'all. And now let's do the same thing for the eyes. So we're just going to make these manifold. So let's do make manifold. Bloop, and there we go. And those should be good. So let's go ahead and add these together. So now I've turned back on Suzanne and the eyes. And let's go back to object mode and kind of blend these together. So I'm going to shift click on the head because I want to make the eyes boolean to the head. So we'll just click on the eyes, shift click on the head, and then do control plus. And now if you look in our modifiers tab, we've got our eyes boolean to the head. You can also do control P if you want to parent those eyes to the head. That way if we are moving our head around, the eyes will stay with it. And notice my eyes kind of have a wireframe on them. And that's because I've changed recently um, with the bool tool add-on, if you go into your preferences here, let's do add-ons and just type bool. There's a button in here that says display as wireframe. And I've checked that. I just kind of have been coming to uh, like that style more and more instead of the, um, just like the box wireframe for when you usually bool tool things together. So that's why mine may look a little different than yours. And then, I'm just going to click on the wireframe and then hit H to hide that. So now we've got a monkey head. Let's get to slicing. What are we waiting for? This, this lesson's about slicing. So let's do some slicing. 